Hey friends, it's Kirk Harnack. Listening to some of my favorite jazz music from uh, Stefan Grappelli and Yo-Yo Ma playing uh, mostly Cole Porter songs on this. Well, what I want to demonstrate to you is the new software that allows dual IP path capability, giving you more reliable jazz or whatever you like to listen to. So this radio is picking up off the air a signal that's produced by this BW Broadcast 5 watt FM transmitter. Now, let's look at the signal chain. We're starting with the CD player, playing my uh, Stefan Grappelli CD here, going into an Omnia 11. Out of the Omnia 11, we're coming out of the FM composite or FM multiplex output, the analog you know, BNC output. From there into this Omnia MPX node. Now, what is the MPX node? Well, if you're not familiar with it, it looks, it looks like an Axia X node, but there's no live wire, no Axia uh, in it. What it does instead is it converts an FM multiplex signal, that's the one on your BNC connector, into the micro MPX format. That sends your MPX signal over IP, whether it's public internet or a private WAN or an IP radio, uh, at a very reasonable bit rate. In fact, uh, right now we're using the highest bit rate of 576 kilobits per second. So just about half a megabit per second, and you can crank that down to 320 kilobits per second. So the equivalent really of three VoIP phone calls going on at the same time, you get a beautiful MPX signal from studio to transmitter over an IP link. Then at the transmitter site, we're using an Omnia MPX decoder node. It's actually the same hardware and the same software with some jumper settings inside where we're taking the micro MPX signal coming in to the network interfaces and then coming back out as analog MPX, including the RDS signal, if you have that, uh, coming out here and going to your FM transmitter. So let's take a look at what we have here. This is the uh, Omnia MPX node. Um, it's receiving its analog MPX signal from the Omnia 11. Now, I do have this hooked up to two different networks. Uh, that's to demonstrate the new software capability of the dual IP path. So what we have here is uh, the blue jumper here connects it to my business network, and the black jumper connects this to my uh, Axia network, uh, although we're not using any Axia capabilities right now. So these two networks connect over to this one. This is the Omnia MPX node in the decoder mode, and it's receiving on its two network interfaces. So we have complete redundancy, network one through one network, network two through another network from end to end. And then out of this decoder node comes the FMMPX signal that goes into the BW Broadcast 5 watt exciter. All right, time to do our experiment. Let's bring the radio up here a little bit closer and turn it up. And we're going to unplug one of the networks here. And as you'd expect, there's no change. <laughs> because we're just using packets from the secondary network. Now we'll plug the primary network, or the Net1, back in. And now we'll go unplug the Net2. And as you can hear, no difference at all. And it's a packet-by-packet packet replacement. So if you just lose a packet, the MPX decoder node grabs it from the other network. Now, of course, if we unplug both networks, what happens? Well, we lose audio because there's no, no data transmission at all. We'll plug one of them back in, and within a couple of seconds, we'll regain the, uh, the audio. There we go, and we'll plug the other one back in. And even though I'm doing plugging and unplugging, that's not the usual failure mode of a packet. Usually you just drop a packet somewhere on a network from one place to another, and that's an instantaneous replacement. There, there's no reconnection time like I showed you here. So this is the dual IP path, and the Omnia MPX node comes with this capability built in. It has provisions for two network outputs, and you can uh, send your micro MPX to either two different IP addresses, as I'm doing because I'm on, on two totally different networks here, or if you need to, you can send both of the outputs of the encoder to the same IP address at the other end, but maybe with different port numbers. Anyway, you can use this technique to disambiguate uh, if you have two networks and two totally different infrastructures, or if your two different networks end up coming into the same router, uh, you can do that either way. So that is the Omnia MPX node with its new dual IP path capability. It already has another capability though, and that is to send the same micro MPX signal to two different sites. If you want to send dual redundant 
to two sites, then you just add a license to the Omnia MPX encoder node, and that gives you a license for more outputs, two more outputs, so you can send dual IP to two transmitter sites. The choice is yours, however you want to set it up. If you rely on, or if your IP paths are reliable, then you only need one, really. But if you want to send over, say, public internet and uh, an IP radio, or maybe a wireless ISP, whatever you need to do, you can do that with the Omnia MPX node and the newest software. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial about how you can use the Omni MPX node. I'm using it at two different stations now, and there are hundreds of these out there in the world keeping FM radio stations on the air and sounding very clean. I'm Kirk Harnack for the TELUS Alliance.